check! It's English O'Clock! Ang pag-aaral ng English upang madaling matutunan, bakit hindi natin simplihan? Halika! Manood at makinig sa English Teacher ni Juan! Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na to, huwag kang matakot! I made learning English easy for you! Please like, comment, and subscribe! At pakishare mo na rin sa iba para marami pang mga huwan na gaya mo ang matuto. Hello there! How is everyone? Are you ready for a brand new lesson today? Ako ready na! The lesson for this week is about the past and past perfect tense of verbs. The target most essential learning competency covered for this video is using the past and past perfect tenses correctly in varied contexts. Do we have to talk about what happened in the past? Kailangan pa ba ng halong kata ng past or move on na agad dapat? Sabi nga nila, past is past. Move forward na. But in this lesson, we won't be moving forward hanggat hindi mo natututunan ang past tense and past perfect tense of verbs na i-discuss ko ngayon. Halika, halong katin at busisiin natin ang past tenses of verbs. Verbs come in three tenses, past, present, and future. Focus tayo sa past tense. What does past tense mean? The past or the simple past is used to describe things that have already happened. It is used to talk about things that happened or existed before now. So, ito yung mga actions na natapos o naganap na. Here are examples of words that help to show past actions. Earlier, five minutes ago, yesterday, last week, last month, last year. Now, take a look at this example. Heidi Lynn Diaz won the Philippines' first gold medal in the Olympics. Which is the verb in this sentence? It is the word won, which is the past form of win. The simple past tense shows that you are talking about something that has already happened. It emphasizes that the action is finished. You can also use the simple past to talk about a past state of being such as the way someone felt about something. This is often expressed with a simple past tense of the verb to be and an adjective, noun, or prepositional phrase. The Filipino people were glad about Heidelin's victory last July this year. Heidelin was glad for getting the gold medal. Notice that where is the past form of be verb that is used for plural subjects while was is used for singular subjects. How to formulate the simple past? For regular verbs, add ed to the root form of the verb, or just d if the root form already ends in an e. Base form, play. Simple past form, played. Pass, past. Dance, danced. Bake, baked. For irregular verbs, things get more complicated. The simple past tense of some irregular verbs looks exactly like the root form. Base form, put. Simple past form, put. Cut, cut. Read, read, hit, hit. For other irregular verbs, including the verb to be, the simple past forms are more inconsistent. Base form, choose. Simple past form, chose. See, 
saw, hide, head, sing, sang, go, went, build, built, do, did. M is R, was, were. Again, verbs in the simple past tense don't need to agree in number with their subjects, except for the be verb which we mentioned earlier. Sarah cleaned the table after eating her lunch. The subject Sarah is singular. The other diners cleaned their tables as well. Here, the subject, the other diners, is plural. Simple past verbs don't have singular or plural forms. This time, let us proceed to the discussion of past perfect tense of verb. The past perfect tense describes a completed activity in the past. It is used to emphasize that an action was completed before another action took place. For example, Jane had finished the assignment before you arrived. Sa halimbawang ito, tinutukoy natin ang dalawang pangyayari na parehong naganap sa nakaraan. Pero ipinapakita sa past perfect tense na ito kung alin sa dalawang past actions ang unang naganap. Natapos ni Jane ang assignment bago ka pa dumating. Two past actions. Natapos at Dumating. More examples of the past perfect tense. Coco had taken the pill before the team reached him. First, he took the pill. Next, the team reached him. I had called the police before I investigated the noise in the garden. First, I called the police. Next, I investigated the noise. The weather changed, but the team had planned its next move. First, the team planned. Next, the weather changed. How to form the past perfect tense? The formula for the past perfect tense is had plus past participle. It doesn't matter if the subject is singular or plural. The formula doesn't change. Examples I had jumped. I had met. Forming the past participle of regular verbs. If it's a regular verb, the past participle is the same as the simple past tense. In other words, it is formed like this. Add ed to most verbs. Jump, jumped. Paint, painted. If a verb of one syllable ends with a combination of consonant, vowel, consonant, double the final consonant and add ed. Chat, chatted. Stop, stop. If the final consonant is W, X, or Y, don't double it. So, sewed. Play, played. Fix, fixed. If last syllable of a longer verb is stressed and ends like this, consonant, vowel, consonant, Double the last consonant and add ed. Incur. Incurred. Prefer. Preferred. If the first syllable of a longer verb is stressed and the verb ends like this, consonant, vowel, consonant, just add ed. Open. Opened. Enter. Entered. Swallow, swallowed. If the verb ends with E, just add D. Thrive, thrived. Guzzle, guzzled. 
If the verb ends with consonant plus Y, change the Y to an I and add ED. Cry, cried, fry, fried. Forming the past participle of irregular verbs. If it's an irregular verb, the past participle is formed in all sorts of different ways. You just have to learn them. Here are some examples. Arise, a reason, catch, caught, choose, chosen, know, known. Also, for the negative version, you will commonly see hadn't instead of had not. Common irregular verbs in the past perfect tense. Infinitive, to be, past perfect, had been, negative, had not been. To have, had had, had not had. To do, had done, had not done. To say, had said, had not said. To get, had gotten, had not gotten. To make, had made, had not made. To go, had gone, had not gone. To take, had taken had not taken, to see, had seen, had not seen, to come, had come, had not come. The past participle of to get is gotten in American English. In British English, the past participle is got. Using contractions. Don't forget that in speech and writing, especially in formal writing, you will encounter the following contractions. I had, I'd. You had, you'd. He had, he'd. She had, she'd. It had, it'd. We had, we'd. They had, Dead. So, what's the difference between past perfect and simple past? When you're talking about some point in the past and want to reference an event that happened even earlier, using the past perfect allows you to convey the sequence of the events. It's also clearer and more specific. So, did you learn something today? Sure ako na hindi ka na nosebleed? If you want more of this video tutorial and learn English in a light speed, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at i-turn on ang notification button para updated ka sa mga bagong lessons. Ako ang teacher mo, ang English teacher ni Juan. Class dismissed! See ya!